know we've been talking about burns in class this week and I wanted to demonstrate something I do for when somebody has a chemical burn or chemical in their eyes to help flush their eyes. Many ways that we can do this, but I know we're supposed to flush the eyes for at least 20 minutes when we have a chemical in it. And sometimes to help facilitate the transporter to get moving, we can continue to flush while en route. And a little trick that somebody had showed me some time back was use a nasal cannula. And if I take the prongs of the nasal cannula and I place them on the bridge of the nose, and you can either run it behind the ears or behind the head, whichever, then I can flush down the tubing and it'll continue to flush from the middle of the nose or the middle of the face outward so that I flush from the center out, which is what we're supposed to do when we flush an eye. So if I took a little bit of water and I would normally use sterile water out of the ambulance. I just couldn't find a bottle in the lab today. I can put it in the, the nasal cannula and here it will then flush and start to rinse the eyes out from the center, center out. So you're flushing this direction. Another trick is if I had a bag of saline, and this may not work for my EMT students, EMT class, is you can usually get this to fit in the nasal cannula pretty snugly. And then you can run your saline and that will then flow and wash the eyes out from the center of the face outwards. If you're having a hard time holding this together, you can then just use some tape, tape it together and rinse the eyes. So just a little trick to help flush somebody's eyes out while we're transporting or even while we're not, if you just want to do that, keep your hands free to go do something else.